off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay All right, I am driving, so I'm not gonna keep this camera up too long. Um, but I have my twin sister on the phone with me right now. Erin, do you wanna say Hello. hi? <laughs> loud as usual. Um, I'm just chatting with her as I head down to my six week post-op appointment with my surgeon. And I have good news. I have taken off my final gauze. My incision is closed up. It is fully covered with skin. And I have no more open wounds, which is fantastic. Yay. Yeah, right? And I haven't told you that, Erin. No, that's the first I've heard it. Because it was like two nights ago, and I was like, do I need to put my glasses on, or is that skin? <laughs> yeah, that's um, awesome. Yeah, so I will update you guys after my appointment, and I will give you a quick synopsis of how I'm doing and what my recovery looks like from here, because I'm not fully recovered. My incisions still have to heal, and I still have requirements of lifting, not lifting, and I don't know what I can do going forward. So I will update you shortly. You know what is really great about having a sister who just chats your ear off? <laughs> As they chat your ear off for the entire 30 minute drive to your post-op appointment. And literally you have to like, um, I actually need to go, even though it's fun talking to you. But I am here and I'm gonna head in a little early, five minutes early. It's never a bad thing to be early. Four minutes now, so it's perfect timing. Let's go and see. Yes, yeah, so I guess I didn't really update you guys. Um, my little incision has grown over, totally fine. And the incisions no longer hurt, like movement wise. And um, like being in the car doesn't hurt, walking doesn't hurt. Uh, they just get tender. Every once in a while, I need to remember to put on the vitamin E once or twice a day, because uh, I think that sensitivity will help with the vitamin E. Um, but let's just go find out what the doctor says about how it, everything looks and what I can do. Like, I don't know that like I'm, I'm walking. I want to start walking again. Um, I'm just busy and, and these days, and I just haven't had a chance to. Um, but I do want to start doing more workout things. But I don't think I'm he's gonna let me do that because I still have limited motion so we'll see what he says all right that went really really well I just love my doctor he's just so good he's already talking about my neck surgeries <laughs> he's like okay when are you coming back Oh, I got my car cold. I thought it was over 90 degrees outside, and I said, nope, I'm going to have a cold car. Now it's really cold. Um, okay, just a quick um, synopsis. I'm hungry, and I need to go to the bathroom. I always forget to go to the bathroom when I'm in there, and then it's awkward. Hey, can I go back in and go to the bathroom? And the doctor really likes how I have healed. He really likes the look of the scar tissue. Um, they snipped off a, cute, a few little... Um, sutures that have, he calls them uh, spitting sutures because all of a sudden like when your body they're supposed to dissolve internally and sometimes they don't and so your body just like spits them out <laughs> so I had one here in the in my little cleavage and then another one on the side over here that just suddenly popped out I hadn't even like felt it um, so he snipped those off and everything looks really good my little incision that, that had popped open has healed up nice and good he's like over time, he's like, you can see it now. You can see the scar tissue now. He's like, but that will like totally clear up and you won't be able to see that. Um, he's concerned, not concerned, but like he knows he's going to keep an eye on the um, incisions clear back here. Like they, they go really far back because he really tried to get the um, wand, the little lipo wand as far back. Um, kind of get that back fat as far back as he could so the incision um, went back pretty far and so he's like I can see myself wanting to like touch that up but they don't touch it up um, until like 6 to 12 months post-op um, because everything needs to settle into place and like heal and whatnot um, we talked about the differing sizes <laughs> he said that 
he said while like this one it looks like it is this one that's swollen it's actually this side that hasn't settled <laughs> which is interesting because this is the shape and size that I like and he's like yeah that one hasn't settled into place and I he's like it could have been because it's putting so much effort into that little um, incision that was open and so all the body's energy is going into that and it's not letting anything settle down into place um and so he's like that could settle in and he's like but it also could be that they're going to be different sizes and he's like i know that necessarily isn't what we want and so um his his motto is there's not necessarily like a one-time shot of modifications to the surgery but the, the, the concept of he wants it to be good enough within reason. And so he's willing to do um, minor changes um, in the future if I'm not happy with how it turned out. And there's um, a couple different um, types of incisions and, and reductions and, and things that he can do um, in the future to change and make sure that this shapes are in the right size. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of what that incision is. Um, it's a little bit of a, you know, invasive concept and you know, we don't need to like talk about it unless we end up doing it. But he said your body needs to like heal still. It needs to settle in. It's only been five and a half weeks since I had the surgery. So let it do its thing. And he said, usually he's like, I'm surprised that it's your right side now I know it's the right side that hasn't settled in. He's like, usually it's your opposite um, dominant hand side. So usually it's the other way around. Like if you're right handed, it would be your left side that didn't settle in. He says, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but he said, just let it settle. Just let it go into place. And then if we still don't like it, then we'll modify. I also, he, he's going to modify this one if it doesn't settle in. The scar tissue on that side, because it's pretty pronounced right now. But it's, um, it's is actually going to look really good down the line. And then there's like a little um, lip right um, at my cleavage line, the far end of that incision. Um, but I just don't like the feel of it. I know that I'm going to flick at it. Like it's an actual like flap of skin. And I know that eventually I could like get really irritated with that. Um, and he's like, that might go down that might like disappear but if not i will go in and, and remove that because i don't like it myself but with the, uh, the type of surgery it is i have to create it he's like almost all the time i end up creating that little bit of a flap um because he's like i gotta sew it all up and everything is so tender and shifted around that i just end up having to do it um we also talked about so that's a possibility down the line. I will have a, a post-op appointment this fall just to check in and see how things are settling. And then we'll decide from there, do we need another six months? And then come back and look at what the possibilities are. Because you really need to like let everything settle in. And then we talked about, um, you know, even, even if they settle and they go to the right same size or whatnot, he knows that the weight loss journey I'm on could potentially shift my size my just it could shift them again it could make them go lower and sag lower if i lose more weight and that is the risk that i took to doing the surgery before i lost all the weight that i wanted to lose but he also fully understands the concept of needing to do this surgery in order to continue the weight loss journey and some people have have kind of given me a hard time about that concept why didn't you just have the tummy tuck at the same time or why don't you just lose the weight before you had the surgery and he understands that the, the the literal weight magnitude that a large chest can have on a woman's body and in her mind and her psyche um, and getting rid of that um, is literally and physically a weight off your shoulders and it helps you in every as asset um, in every aspect of your weight loss journey so he's like I completely understand he's like do you already feel a difference like do you already notice that it's better um do you feel different do you walk different do you f like yes yes like it it feels I'm like I'm lighter it feels like I have a, an easier burden to carry I don't know how to explain it I started crying because I don't know how to explain it to someone who hasn't had a large chest um, and had to carry that around 
all the time and then having it gone these like I feel like they aren't even there I feel like they're not even there because that's how much of a weight loss it was for me um, we talked about um, I can go back to um, revised like workouts he's definitely like knows that I want to start walking in and obviously that that was just me like being comfortable like not having the pain of walking and whatnot and the exertion um, so I'm free to go ahead for that and then I'm just gonna start doing modified workouts and weightlifting he's like the second you feel any kind of pull on your incisions or whatnot um, stop because your body isn't ready for full weightlifting it's not those incisions are still raw and they don't don't push yourself but he said I can definitely start to do that kind of stuff and it would be healthy to do so. He said that I can start wearing a regular bra and a sports bra, but I cannot do any underwire and I don't want to, nor do I need to, which is like, I don't even know the last time, like middle school was the last time I probably could not wear an underwire. I probably started wearing underwire bras in high school. I literally, so I like I'm wearing cotton bras, you guys. I'm wearing full on cotton bras and it they're held up they're in place so I'm gonna honey love is the number one brand for a bra that I'm gonna start looking at um, getting I just need to really size myself but I also want to go to Nordstrom and get sized for a regular bra there down the line because um, I am kind of sick of wearing these because they're cotton and they they have extra fabric that kind of you know you can just kind of see it it's not the most you know flattering bra and it's also he's like no get a regular bra and and it'll it'll perk them up it'll put them into a different place and same with a sports bra and he's like yeah you can do that tighter compression and it'll feel better for your workouts and it'll, it'll look better and then he said I asked if I could stop wearing the bra at night because it would look it would be really nice to let the ladies loose but he said you couldn't you can but he said because mine are shifting still my sizes are still kind of shifting and shaping he says the the more in place you can keep them for a majority of the day the better because those the tissue the body tissue is going to stretch if it's not being held into place if that makes sense and I'm, it totally made sense to me and I'm like no 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 I don't want it to stretch I want it to stay in the right in the right position of where I want it to be and he was like then keep the bra on at night or wear some kind of a, a night shirt or a tank top that has some kind of compression um, that can kind of keep them up into place and so that I'm gonna look into that and and that's that's more of my comfort comfort level anyway for pajamas it's been nice to have lot loose cotton pajamas or whatever but I've been wearing bras for six weeks at night um, so I just need to find something I have, I have some ideas of what I can do but um, so that was one that was nice I didn't know that I could actually start wearing regular bras I just can't wear any underwire so that's fantastic it's gonna take me um, like weeks if not months to try and find the right bra because I've never, I don't, I don't, I second guess it. I second class or I second guess ordering clothes. I second guess going to the rack at the store and pulling a size. I'm like, there's no way this is going to fit me. And then I put it on like, oh, it does. Could I go smaller? And I can. So it's a, it's a learning curve for me to trust that the size is different. And now we work, and, and the doctor said, he's like, now your mission, I understand, as I understand it, is to start working on your stomach. And to start working out and to start losing that weight and then he's like and then we'll see you again because that's the reality is that if I lose the weight in my stomach um, it will be a saggy skin mess because there's extra skin there once the fat is gone so that will be my mission and he will be my doctor in the years to come to have that surgery um, and I just appreciate that he's not he's not pushing me to have that surgery now because he knows that I want to do the weight and it would be a little silly to do right now because I would probably gain the weight back if I did it I need to create the habits to make those changes um, in order to like go forward so I guess I didn't have to go to the bathroom as much as I thought <laughs> I'm gonna go get some lunch really quick just because it's a longer drive home I'm gonna go get some lunch um, I don't know. I'm going to call Jason. Oh, my phone's almost dead. I'm going to call Jason because we, we talked about going out tonight. I'm going to see how he feels. He's still a little grumpy. 
I'm not gonna lie, and he knows he's grumpy, which is why he didn't come with me today to this appointment. He's like, I'm just gonna let you go. He didn't get to go on a hike because it was raining until like 2 p.m. today. And he's like, I don't go on hikes when it's raining. I don't mind if it rains when I've started. I already been out. So I don't know if he's in the mood, but I have done my hair and my makeup, and I'm like, let's go out. <laughs> I don't know. Abby is going to the Drake concert tonight um, with her friend. So this is her first concert that she's going to, which is kind of scary and kind of different. But she's going with her friend and her the friend's mom is going to take them over to Seattle. Um, I think, I don't remember what stadium it was at. Um, the one by the Space Needle. I just don't remember the name of the, of the, of the stadium. Um, and then the mom is staying down there and bringing them back home. So that's a little bit different to have her go and do that kind of an experience um, for the first time. So, but Kaylee and Chelsea are home to like take care of Ashley and whatnot. So that's kind of the plan for the day, but I don't know if it's all gonna pan out. We'll see. Maybe Jason and I have a chance to go and get dinner somewhere. Um, it's hot. So like I was gonna do like somewhere where I could be outside, but it's hot and I don't wanna sweat with makeup on. All right, that took me way long to get home. There's a huge chunk of, not necessarily the highway, but like a side road that is having major construction work done. And so it's like totally bogging down the highway. And so when I did the navigation to like come home, it had me going through neighborhoods and then to small state routes instead of on the highway. <laughs> so it took us so long to get home. Um, but anyway, Ashley just uh, called me <laughs> via Facebook Messenger. It's the only way she has access to a phone. And their teachers were just released for school. And while we have seen who her teacher is through a small blip in the system a couple weeks ago, um, she wants to verify that it still is, in fact, that same teacher because she just found out one of her friends has that same teacher. And she's been very worried that she wouldn't have... I mean, she'll know a lot of the people because she's been going to school with these same people for five years now, six years now. But uh, she's very concerned that she wants to check and make sure she has this same teacher. I also need to print out Chelsea's schedule for middle school for eighth grade. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I always print it out and laminate it in two different copies, one for her backpack and one for like her pocket um, so that she always remembers her schedule. So that's what next and Jason and I might go out tonight he is working out and maybe going for a run and then he's like I, I'm angsty still and all right so I spent the majority of my time home um, catching up on comments from you guys and editing well not even editing a video just getting things done on a computer paying bills and I will say, sorry for the delay in responding back to you. I kind of got in a funk of not responding after all the trolls kind of attacked me and just kind of stopped responding. Um, but now I'm caught up and ready to go forward. And Jason and I are finally actually going out to dinner. Do we know where we're going? No. Well, no idea. General area. General area. And yeah, he's very hungry. So we're going to hurry and make that decision. dinner we went to the tavern grill is that what it was called the tavern the tavern it was good we get our basic it's like an Irish or English pub kind of vibe yeah um, I just like fish and chips because I don't cook it I don't like cooking fish and so I want so it. fishy I don't like whatever <laughs> well, but now that I've given been given the okay to go into regular bras decided to run into Nordstrom's they don't have a, very, a good selection at all because ours is getting, um, the whole Nordstrom's is getting a reconstruction going. Um, so Jason was like, um, well, we can go. And like, I want to make sure you get into the right bra to make, give it the right support that it needs. And where did you want me to go get that good support, babe? 
I'm just saying, I thought they actually measured you at Victoria's Secret or do something like that. What's that place back there? Well, Nordstrom's supposed to do it. I know, they didn't have any that were even close to it. No, because I think it's just not, they're not doing it because of yeah, construction. So, yeah. They just had a very limited supply of stuff. But he, I mean, Victoria's Secret, he just wants to fully support me in my support journey. Yeah. I'm he all wants, for your top he, <laughs> he just wants to make sure I'm taken care of. <laughs> right. I hate to. I know you do. I just don't think it's Victoria's Secret is my first round of. I thought that's where they like actually fit you and they do something there. It's not I'm, just I'm not lingerie. Get one from there it's not right just now. lingerie. I thought, well, it's all about getting fit, isn't it? Yeah, but Victoria's Secret's not where I would get it from. They don't fit. I thought that was their thing. Is they? Fit I don't you. think they do anymore. Yeah, that's right, what I'm yeah. telling you. And I don't really want Victoria's Secret pride. Just I don't want to. All right. It's not. Uh, whatever. Oh, look at this place. Ooh, is that cheap? Like? ADM. What the heck? What is that? So, this is life in your 40s when you finish at the mall and you don't buy anything. You just come back to Target. Because <laughs> it's only 8 o'clock and you don't want to go home yet. Because your kids are going to be up till midnight making brownies in the kitchen. I came down last night and Abby had made no baked cookies. I was upstairs for an hour and she had made no baked cookies and I couldn't even hear had no idea. All right, while we didn't find anything, I am learning what my potential brazier possibilities could be. And honestly, like two companies that I've seen online, I'm walking this way so people can't see me talking. I am, um, I'm looking and see what these are, the little body suits. I am realizing that the two companies that I've seen online, two different types of op options for like a regular bra and a sports bra might be the route I go. So I might have to just really size myself, measure myself, in order or order those online, or like order two different sizes. Just looking. Oh, this is a maternity now. Because I I need like sports bra needs to like I need I can't get in and out of it yet. I don't have the flexibility to like get in and out of it without his help, and I can't have waiting <laughs> for him. So I want the one that like zips up. And then, the, like, and then you pull down on a strap, and it cinches from the strap on it with a piece of Velcro for a sports bra. So I think that would be a good way to go. And the other one is from Honey Love, which I think is a great option. I don't know. I might try that. We came home to a fun surprise <laughs> with Max being here, and there's a reason that Jason is now the favorite in the house besides Kaylee. Did you get him? Yeah, you're done with him. See, I'm chump change. <laughs> Do you want to say hi to me? Yeah, come come here. Like nope, because I have nothing. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to say goodnight to you. I spent the last two hours since we got home looking up bras. <laughs> and I ordered two. I ordered a regular one and a sports one from Shaper Mint. I looked at Honey Love, didn't find what I liked. Um, and then I looked on, oh, what was the other one? she fit and while I, I want to try and get one that has the whole zip up um, and then the velcro things um, I couldn't find one in my price range they're really expensive and I really want to get one down the line um, but for right now I just went with ones that were a little bit on clearance at um, Shaper Mint and we'll try those ones first um, I also need to have some soft material um, and my doctor really wants really soft band around, you know, the bottom edge. He doesn't really want anything strong. Um, he would prefer like a wide band um, if, if it's not super soft. So I'm going to try what I got. I'll show you when I, when I get them in like a week. It's a little bit longer shipping. Um, so I will show you when I get it. But I'm going to close that out. If that's, this is my process. Jason told me today, he's like, you need to compile like different things through this journey and then like, you know, at the six month mark and the year mark, you know, kind of make, you know, a consolid consolidated review of the entire process. And I'm going to do that because the likelihood of me having more procedures to fix things up um, during this is very high. We already in, know of two locations on my incisions right here and down in here that need to get touched up a bit and then um, if the size doesn't change that's going to get fixed and give myself a little perky. <laughs>
not gonna go into the details on how that happens. There's, that's a little TMI. We'll do that later on maybe, if we get to that point. I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. Thanks for joining me and supporting me in this journey um, to go through this. Um, it's been really nice to have such good friends there for me along the ride as I've done this. So thank you. You all know who you are who watch regularly. And whether you comment or not, I know that you watch regularly and you're here to support. So thank you and we'll see you guys later. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.